everybody, welcome back. I want to share a journal with you guys today. This is a design team project for Artie Mays. And this kit is Nature Walk. I've named this journal the hair um, for obvious reasons. Um, this fabric I found a couple of weeks back. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll recognize it. But I fell in love with this. And <clears throat> it's got a hair, it's got some fern, and just you know botanical images on it if I loved the sage green so um, wow I was so excited when I saw um, Artie Mae's kit because um, I kind of had a feeling it was going to go with it but obviously you don't know for sure until you print it out but yeah the minute I saw this image I knew that was going to be my cover um, so I've got some burlap, muslin, then the image, done some stitching, and then made this little nameplate here. Um, got some trim, uh, lace back here, and then this is some real vintage <clears throat> trim. I've got my stash, so I've tucked that in there, and then I've just layered up <clears throat> various bits of scrap that I had. I thought it kind of went with it. And then I've just done another... Um, muslin um, closure with some stitching on that. So we'll go inside. This is a three signature. It's five and three quarters of an inch by eight and a half. Three signature and it's got 180 pages front and back. So it's a nice big journal. That's what it looks like from the side. I filled this one. Um, I filled this one up quite a bit. So um, I could just get started. So Okay, this is some of the pages from the kit. Beautiful Nature Walk, that's the name of the kit. I'll put a link below, I don't know if I said that. And then on the cover here, <clears throat> I've done, this is some 49th and Market um, paper, coordinated really nice with this, and you'll see some um, Tim Holtz um, papers. Those go nicely with this kit as well. So you'll see those in here. Um, this, just a little bit of scrap that I had left over, so a little uh, notepad there. Love this tag, um, or journaling card, sorry. And then I just did some die cut and some stitching around that on the machine. Uh, just a stamped image and then just another little die cut I've tucked in there. Really like how that one's come out. And here I just did some collaging with... Um, I've got some, you'll see botanical um, book pages in here and then vintage as well. So this just some scrap that I had and then some lace I've turned that up with. A doily, um, this is some old uh, book page. I've put one of the tabs from the kit in there. Here I've just created a pocket, did lots of collaging with it. <clears throat> this is another... A uh, vintage image from a, um, I think this was a butterfly book I had. I, I don't know because I take them all apart just to make more room in my space. So I'm pretty sure that was all butterflies and moths as, as I recall. This is Tim Holtz's little stamp thing. This is another of the journal um, cards from the kit. I love these. They're, the colors are really, really nice in this. Um, really enjoyed working with this. Did a bit of stamping throughout, not a lot. Um, I've taken some of the Wildflower um, Sizzik, I think it's a Tim Holtz um, die cuts and I've just added those throughout the journal so you'd have some more texture. This is um, one of the little envelopes with a um, little card you get. I love the owl image. so. Um, the reason I named this the hair, <clears throat> I just, um, I imagine when he is going about his day, the things that he would run across in his life, and obviously, um, that's my thinking behind, uh, the title on that, is, um, these are all his friends and various things in his um, little community. So this is one of the tags I've um, 
backed this with some coffee, uh, tea dyed paper. Sorry, I've, everything in here is tea dyed. I've kind of gotten away from coffee dyeing. I, I just really am loving the color that my teas give on my pages. So um, that's what I tend to be doing now. And I've, there's a lot of writing space still. Um, here I've done some embossing, so you've got some butterfly image there. Here I've just done some collaging. This is some Tim Holtz fabrics. I've done some stamping on some cotton. And then this is a coin envelope. Um, nothing in it, but room for you to add something. And that's been backed to one of the big um, music sheet pockets. Um, this is some of the lined paper from the kit, and um, this is another, the journal page. I don't know, I'll try to show you guys close up. It's really beautifully um, collaged. It's, um, I love that she's brought out <coughs> some of the teal along with the sage and the browns. Uh, just a beautiful, beautiful color combination. Because I love teal. Um, this is just a little envelope. I've split that so that it's easy to get in. You can add some things there. And this is just a, a background page I had in my stash. Same here. This is just another one I thought coordinated really nicely. But um, most everything you see in here is from uh, Artie Mae's kit. I just just a few pieces here and there that I had that I thought went along nicely. I love this. This is a beautiful, beautiful page. And that's the center of the signature. I've added some tracing paper that's been tea dyed, so it's nice and crispy. <laughs> Crunchy for you ladies that like the sound. Another, uh, well, the other side of that envelope. I do love these uh, images in this. They're really gorgeous. That's the other side of the um, pocket. Here I've just um, I've taken, this is one of the journaling um, cards from the kit. I've just backed that, or attached that to the back of the music sheet. And then this I've done some stitching to one of the tags I had cut out. I love how that tag has come out and then it's got some seam binding ribbon and another one of the tabs here I've done a, uh, a pocket with another little tuck spot some more stamping I love these tickets come in the kit so I've stitched those together to form a little tuck spot and then I love these you get three of these big uh, tags. Venture it weights. That is such a nice um, <clears throat> you can imagine what it must be like to live in the woods and all the adventures you get up to. One day I hope that um, <clears throat> that's that's my dream is to get back to where I um, I don't know if you, any of you follow Brian Adventure Van Man. Oh I got hooked on him about two and a half years ago, and uh, that is my bucket list dream, is, is to experience van life. I experienced it for a very, very short time this summer, and uh, I would like to do that for a year or two, or as long as I could take it, um, but I don't, I don't know if that, it'll ever become a reality, but it's a dream. We have to have dreams, don't we? Um, yeah, these are... Um, Pages from it. Love that. I love Remember. That's beautiful. Love those orange colors. Beautiful. Here I've done a fabric pocket with some burlap. <clears throat> this is an image from another uh, bit of fabric I've just picked up lately. I, if you guys follow me, you know I'll show you. This is one of the covers I made with it. Um, didn't particularly pos position this one the way I should have, but I kind of wasn't bothered because I knew I was going to come back and collage on it anyways. <clears throat> My thinking on this one, I don't know if it's going to pan out, is one of the Fox image is probably going to be the focal point on that. So that's, that's all, oh, you know, on the list of things to do. But um, <clears throat> I cut out this image from that fabric and then just did some stitching with it. 
you get these uh, mason jars in the kit, which are beautiful. Get a couple of those. I do love this. Um, you get a, a patterned paper and it's the teal. I love that. I, I'm going to be printing out that and using quite a bit because I just, I just love the color of that so much. And it's got like an aged look to the pattern, so it's, it's beautiful. Here's another of the pages. <clears throat> Sorry about my voice today, guys. I'm, I don't know what's going on with it. This weather's going back and forth here. <clears throat> We've had a bit of a warm-up, and I don't know if that's affected my voice or not. But um, Here I've just made a little tuck spot. This is one of the 49th and Market uh, papers, and I've just cut out one of the moths from that. And then that's that new stamp I got from the Paper art Artsy. Love that image. I must um, devote some time this week to doing some stamping. Here's another of the journal cards. I love this. I've done some of the um, wildflower die cut. <clears throat> and then I've made a little flip out with this. It's an envelope flip out. And then I've just tucked in um, another little journal card. I really like how that's come out. Some good paper. Some more lined paper. I love the fact that she includes some lined paper for those of us who can't write straight. <laughs> uh, some more pattern paper. Um, this is another of the tabs. Love that. Here I've done a little um, tuck spot up here and I'll try to show you um, this just one of the this is a journal card that must got flipped and then I, um, I stamped that onto but here I've done some this is it says nature then I've got the little butterfly and then a piece of uh, vintage trim there I've just added to it I love how that come out. Those are just tucked up in there. Some stitching. Um, if I haven't pointed that out, I have done some stitching throughout it. Oh, here's this paper. Oh, love, love, love that. Look at that. So pretty. Yeah, I'm going to have to print some, some of that out. And you be, I'm going to use that in some journals coming up. Somebody I saw lately, um, recently, that had done a, and I can't, you guys know my brain doesn't work most of the time. She had done a, it was predominantly blue journal. And it's so unusual, I think, in the crafting world to find blue. And I don't know why, because I think everybody goes nuts over the blue kits. Um, but hers was almost all blue and oh my goodness was it stunning. I wish I could remember who it was so that's I was wondering about trying to I don't know if I've got enough I could do a whole blue one but this is another of the um, tags <clears throat> I backed that with some tea dyed paper and then I did some um, trying to use some of the stitches on my machine but eh, some of it goes okay and then um, I'm still struggling with the weights of my thread because I made the mistake of buying the heavy duty thinking, oh, paper, I need that. But boy, that's not um, working out too well in my machine. So I'm just trying to get through it and uh, get back to just the all purpose. I find the all purpose thread um, is sufficient for paper. So I don't know if any of you. Or just starting out that's something to keep in mind don't bother with the heavy duty um, it's too much for paper I think um, and I'm no expert as you guys know um, here I've taken an image from one of the book pages I've got I hope that's not got a glare on there I thought that was really pretty and then this is the CD um, pocket and I've just this is one of the images I love that so I made a little tab at, or actually this was a um, ticket and I just folded it over and turned it into a tab 
So you've got that. I popped that in there. You got, gotta have the bee. Gotta have the bees. I tried to um, find pages that had wildlife, um, and this one fortunately did. Um, so it's got a couple of, and this is a very old book, so that's, that was nice to find. It would be a massive um, amount of books we would have to have to, um, to suit every kind of journal, wouldn't it? Because um, you try to keep things that are related, and I, I think now I'm starting to understand why some ladies maybe just stick with like a sewing theme or um, you know they have one particular theme because it's it's just a ridiculous amount of books you've got to have to incorporate all these things <clears throat> I've been fortunate I've got a couple of um, I don't know I've probably got five nature horticulture flower type books um, but yeah it's as you guys know I mean my interest in the different styles of journeys are so, it's just so vast, I'd never be able to to get enough book pages, um, you know, for the different themes. Here I've done a uh, altered book, uh, paper clip, but that's one of the, um, the words from that paper artsy, aren't they gorgeous font? And then this is the banners that um, Andrea includes in her little kit, which is nice. Here I've just taken um, a ledger piece and I've made it into a floating pocket. And then these are, isn't that beautiful? That's from the kit. I love these. That brown with the sage, that is lovely. And then here, that's a beautiful image as well. I was thinking about these. <clears throat> these could would really be pretty even just framed. Um, they are so pretty, those flower ones. And she's got some of them with like the the Latin name. And uh, Here, just on, that's another one of the um, words, it's earth, that comes in that kit. It's a really, uh, I'll just show you guys. I keep, I keep going on about it. Why don't I just show you? This is it. Um, sorry, I'll it's, I'll let you see if, there you go, you get, um, that's, a, you get that one, petals, nature, earth, bloom, twig, and then, that's it. I thought that was, that's the name of the kit, Petals 4. So if you guys go online, I'm sure you can find that, but I just loved this when I saw it. And they had, um... They had a, you know what, I just realized that's not printing. Let me check this out, guys. Yeah, interesting. On here it shows that, that should say unknown specimen, but when you stamp it, maybe I've got too much ink on there. I'm going to have to work on my stamping, I think, because that's supposed to come out that way. Anyways, I'm getting sidetracked. Sorry, guys. Um, what I was going to say is they had a couple of others, and I just didn't feel I could afford it at the time but I am going to hopefully next month if my budget allows they've got a couple of other really cute um, stamps okay back to this I'm so sorry I'm, I'm really sidetracked today um, okay so that's the little floating pocket and then on the back I have a little um, Rolodex card. I've stamped that, and then this is one of those handmade pieces of. Um, it's it's a hard piece of um, cotton handmade paper, but it's very sturdy. I like stamping on these because the images stamp really, really nice on those. So I've tucked that in there. I think that looks really pretty. And then this is just a another wildlife postcard. I acquired somewhere, I don't know. Um, I wouldn't want to say that it's vintage because I, I don't know that. There's no date on it, so but it goes nicely with the um, with the theme, I think. Edith Holden. 
Let me check the time, guys. Oh, gosh, yeah, I'm running out of time. Sorry, I'm yapping too much today, I think. I had a couple of co cups of coffee, and now I'm on to tea, so I better slow down. Um, it's another tab. Here I've made a... Um, there's a little tuck spot here, and then this flips up, but you've also got a little... Um, tuck spot there to put something and then in here I put a couple of the vintage playing cards and this is one of, another of the journaling cards isn't that pretty with that bee Ooh, love that so I've tucked those in there and then this will um, flip over so you can do some writing there and keep it kind of secret. Another uh, embossed page. It's got like the woodland. And then some more old book page. I thought that was pretty out in the woods. Oh, there's that other book um, a tab. I love those. I just love that color. Um, here is another one of the um, wildflower cut uh, die cuts. And then this is one of the little um, envelopes you get with the, another of the journal cards included with that owl, the wise owl. He's probably got his eye on that uh, hair for dinner, but in my story, he doesn't ever catch him, so it's it's a it's a PG-13 story. <laughs> so here, um, this is another image from the cat. Love that or book uh, page. Sorry, and I like the fact she's put these. Um, it's like a measuring tape. That's really subtle in some of the backgrounds. It's beautiful. Uh, another Edith Holden, and here, um, this is another the big tags, so I've stitched all around it, it flips open, and then here I've created a three pocket, uh, music sheet pocket, and that's one of the journaling, see what I mean? She's got the Latin name, and then, you know, like the description of it, and I love that, so pretty. more tracing paper. Just extra crinkle for you ladies that like the sound. Uh, here I've got, uh, this is one of those um, flower cards I've picked up and I keep forgetting about some of this stuff. Uh, I just ran across that today and thought, oh yeah, I must include that. <laughs> I'm terrible about that. Out of sight, out of mind with me, guys. <laughs> That's why I try to, to take the time and pile on what I think I'm going to, and then if I don't use it, it can go back. But um, once I get into my creative process, if it's not near me, I tend to forget about it. And this was another one. I found these, I don't know how long ago, and I just I purchased those at that flea market, and that was back in the autumn, and um, I'll be honest, it got buried. So today when I saw them, I thought, oh yeah, I must include that. So that's just been tucked in here. This is another, um, these are some of that uh, vintage book page that I've collaged on there. And then here I've attached, this is one of her journal cards, and I've sewn it to a piece of like... Um, it's kind of like a canvas type of fabric that I had, and then I did some stitching there with that button to uh, a piece of leftover doily. And then here is another of the mason jars, and there's one of the um, altered paper clips I made. I love these little mason jars. Okay, nearly there guys, and this is the back. I've uh, got another one of her beautiful journal cards in there. 
and then this is just another Tim Holtz um, ticket that I stamped out. So there you go. There's the back of that beautiful paper. So there you have it. That is the hair, and um, he is for sale in my shop if you're interested. And I hope everybody's having a great weekend. I hope you guys all get a chance to do some creative, um, get some creative time in your space this weekend. And I will see you guys back again uh, next week sometime. Take care, and uh, thanks so much for stopping by, guys. Bye.